Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to divide polynomials using the box method. Let's say we have the polynomial 3x cubed minus 5x plus 7. And we want to divide that by the polynomial x minus 2. There's two ways to do this. One is long division and the other is synthetic division, or as we like to call it, the box method. I find this one to be the easiest. All we do is we take this number, x minus whatever that number is, and we put it in a box. So in this case, it's two. Remember that it's x minus whatever number, so that if it was to be x plus two, you'd actually have to use negative two. But this case, we're okay because it's subtraction. We can put the two in the box. Then we line up the other numbers that are the coefficients from this problem. The tricky thing to remember here is that you have to do it in descending order of exponents. And if you skip an exponent, like here, it goes from x cubed to x to the one. There's no x squared. So we have to put a zero in that place because there's no x to the second power. A zero there, the next number is negative five, and the next number is seven. So we have all the coefficients. Now we're going to do this cool thing called the box method. The first number you just bring down, it's three. Then you use the number in the box and you multiply it with the number here. Two times three is six, and then you take that and you add it to the next number up here, plus zero. You get six plus zero is six, so the next number is six. Then we do the same thing. Two times six is 12. We multiply that, and we multiply the two and the six, and then we add it to the negative five to get 7. 12 minus 5 is 7. Then we just do it again. 2 times 7 is 14. And then we add it to this number. 14 plus 7 is going to be 21. Now we have gone through all the numbers and all we do is start with the next exponent after this one. So this is x to the third, so we're gonna go x to the second. So you just do three x to the second um, plus six um, x plus seven. And then we still have the 21 left, so that becomes the remainder. And we put that over the one we divided by, the x minus two. 21 over x minus two. And that's the answer. It magically turns into that using the box method. I'm Rachel and thanks for learning with us today.